This is Gemara Nivamas Daf Kof Dalit. Old learning should bring an incredible Choshen of Yisochayim and Devarat Hamizu Vazerach Hashem Levizava Oifik Ben Dali Shemim Ben Chayav Lumiudis Bas Sima Malka. As well as learning should bring an incredible Choshen for Hashem Hashem Yisrael and Rivedish Mo Ben Tila Naftali Sima Mechlas and Chum Bas Sima Zablu Bas Ben Dachem Mitzichum and Malka B'Shapiku Shechano Chavaleya Bas Saradina B'Soich Shar Chayli Yisrael. We're holding on Kof Dalit Amir Aleph a new Mishnah, continuing the theme of this twelfth Barak of Yivamis as we're closing in on this fascinating Mesechta, now we're up to the Lachas of Chalitza. So it says the Mishnah, Chalitza Balayla Chalitza Sikshira. If you do Chalitza at night, it is kosher. Rav Lazar Paisal. Be small, if you do Chalitza with the left foot, Chalitza Sapsula, Rav Lazar Machshir. So do Dinim, are you allowed to do Chalitza at night, or are you allowed to do Chalitza with the left foot? Says the Gemara Lema Bahakam if the Mishnah that allows Khalitza night seemingly is the following Machlik is the Mar Savar Makshin and Ribbim Linagayim Mar Savar Ravalazar who says that you are not allowed to do Khalitza night compares Ribbim Dinim Dine Mominis monetary laws to Saras and therefore just like by Taras, you have to do it by day, so two monetary cases need to be done by day. And similarly, what? Chalitza will have to be done by day, because Chalitza, as Rashi here points out, has monetary ramifications as well. Whereas Umar, Sarvat, Tanakama, all's law, Makshin, Rebel, and Negayim. It's true that Negayim, Saras, has to be done by day. But according to Tanakama, monetary cases are not learned out from Saras, and therefore Chalitza is, yes, allowed to be done at night. So seemingly the Machloik is Tanakama and Rav Lazar is whether we learn out monetary cases from Saras or not. Says the Gemara Loi, that is not the Machloik is. To Kuliyama, Lo, Makshin, Rebel, and Negayim, everyone agrees. We do not learn out Ribbon, monetary cases from the Goyim. Why? Because if we learned out one from the other, then then you would not even be allowed to have a Gemar Din by night. Why? Because when it comes to monetary cases, you only have to start it by day, but you're allowed to finish it at night, and that certainly doesn't apply to us. So therefore, suggest the Gemara of Ahachab HaKamifki. So what is the Machleik? It's Tanakam and Rav Lazar. Ma'ar Sarva Chalitza is like Ketchila as Din Damya. Rav Lazar's Chalitza is like the beginning of a Din Taira. And therefore, the beginning of a Din Taira cannot be done at night. Umar Savar. Whereas the other Mandamra holds, no. Tanakamba says, Chalitza is like Gemar Din Damya. And therefore, it could, yes, be done at night. So the two ways of potentially learning the Machlech is Tanakama and Rav Lazar. Continues the Gemara with this, continues the Gemara with the story, Rav Archiya Kutusva of an Ovda bin Moik, that he did a story with a shoe of Moik, of felt, Ubi Echidi, and alone, Ubi Laila, and at night. And of course, that's why you bring down the case, because it was done at light. Amar Shmuel, Kama Rav Govrayo David Kichida. How great is this that he does, like, with one person? There's one one Tana that says this, who cares? Says the Gemara, what? Shmuel, what's bothering you? My Kasha, what's bothering you? E Mike, if what's bothering you is that he did the Khalid with a felt shoe, Stomatanya, this is Stam Mishnah that says, Stomatanya, that it's allowed to be done with felt. E Laila, Stomatanya, Ela Yechidi Kokasha. So, you know what's bothering you, Shmuel? What's bothering you is, is that he did the Khalid by himself, the Rabbi Rechia was there without anyone else. Says the Gemara, uh, How could he do it by himself? That only one Tana says that Chalitza could be done by one person. If you did Chalitza with two or three and one of them is possible, it's possible. For Rav Shimon, Rav Yechon, and Sandler, Machshirim, they say it's okay. He performed Chalitza by himself in a jail. That is not the Psaq Halacha. That it cannot be done by one person. So that's what bothers Shmuel. So says the Gemara, another way, or the other way of learning is all these other Mishnayis that said it could be done by night, it could be done with felt, was also a done, said by one Tanya, the Tanya of Rishmael, Rabbi Yaisi, Ani Raisi, is Rabbi Shmuel ben Alisha. Specifically, Rishmael ben Alisha, is called to Mike Bechidi Uba Laila. So all three of them.
it was only done by a single Tana, and that's why Shmuel was upset. So two different reasons why Shmuel was potentially upset with the story of Chalit being done in front of one person at night with a felt, a mic shoe. Continues the Gemara, the second din of the Mishnah. On the end of the narrow lines, Bismal Chalit Sasai, if you do the Chalit with your left foot, Tanakama says it's possible, or Rablaza says it's kasher. Kash, kasher. Says the Gemara, my time with the Rabbana, what is the reason Rabbana that Tanakama says it's possible? Amr Uli, Afinan, Regal, Regal, Mimit, Saira, Malhal, and Dimin, Avkan, Dimin. Rav Lazar, Rav Lazar says that it's kosher with the left foot on the first wide line. How do we know when you put the hole in the Eved's ear? How do you know that it has to be done with the right? The Aizen Ayyaman is the right ear. So it says the Gemara, Rabbi Lazar does learn Xir Shava that it should be the right. So why doesn't Rabbi Lazar apply that Xir Shava to our din of Chalitza being done with the right foot as well? You're right. You got to flip around the opinion of the Rabbanon and Rav Lazar. Rav Amar no leilam loy tepech. Oizen oizen mufni. Regal regal loy mufni. Says Rav no. Oizen oizen. The word oizen in the pasuk is extra, so you can darsh in the word oizen. But regal regal. The word foot is not extra, and therefore Rav Lazar does not darsh, and therefore Rav Lazar does not require it to be done with the right foot. Chiloy mufni my bircha says. The Gemara, my birchaika. Even if it's not an extra on the pasuk, you need to have a reason to not say the gzir shava. Says the Gemara, you know why? Because ikel a mifrach malam mitzayra. Shkintani teres ve'iza v'shnita ilas mitzayra. Perhaps is different. There are special dinim by mitzayra. So maybe because there are special dinim by mitzayra, that's why we're makpin on the right. Whereas when it comes to us, there is a, there are not these dinim, and therefore Rav would say when it comes to chalitza, the left foot would be kosher as well. How we continue. Now we're going to get involved in the actual chalitza process, which is really a three-stage process. Process number one, we've been speaking about extensively, is the removal of the shoe. We spoke about the type of shoe. Stage number two is the reading of the Torah, which we also spoke about the the the. the the reading of the Chalitza, we spoke about that if it's a Chayrish, they can't read, etc. And number three is Yavama spits towards the Yavam. So says the Mishnah, let's say one of these three stages they did not do. Chalitza Virakika. She removed the shoe, she spat, Avaloi Kara, she didn't read the parasha. Chalitza Sikshira. Kara, she read the parasha Raka and she spat, Avaloi Chalitza, she take up the shoe, Chalitza Sikshira. Chalitza Vikara, she took off the shoe and she read the parasha of Eloi Rakika, that's a machlekes. Lazar Mechelzaz of Psula, Rabbi Kiva Amar Chalitza Sai Kshir. And of course, the Gemara will explain where this all comes from as we turn over to Kavdalit on the base, continuing the Mishnah. Omar Lee Rabbi Lazar says, Rabbi Lazar says, Rabbi Kiva, Kacha Yaase, says in the parasha by Chalitza, Kacha, so shall it be. Kal Davar Shahu Maisa Ma'akit. Everything that needs to be done, all three stages, says Rav Lazar, are ma'akiv. The spitting, the reciting, the taking off the shoe. Well, that was backwards. The taking off the shoe, the recital, and the spitting. Amrli Rav Akiva, Rav Akiva says back to Rav Lazar, Misham Raya, Kolcha Yaselish, Kol Dover. Kolcha Yaselish, we know by Mordechai HaTzadik, Kol Dover Shu Maisa Be'ish, anything Involving the man is Iker. Actually, I, I said that incorrectly. That is not that is not true. Excuse me. That it is a similar pasik in the Megillah. But here it's referring to the parsha of Chalitza says, so it shall be done to the man, showing us that anything that's involving the man is, is, is essential. Whereas when it comes to the spitting, who spits? Just the woman, the man is not involved. So says Rabbi Akiva, that's not going to be essential, the spitting. Continues the Mishnah. Ha-cheresh, shenechlas, v'acharesh, shechot, so v'acheresh, or acharesh, is does Chalitza, v'cholet, is l'kot, and v'chalitza, is done to a cut, and v'chalitza, subsula, all of these are going to be possible. Kitana shechotza, and if she did not do it again when she grows up, it's possible. If Chalitza was done in front of two or three days, we quoted this recently. We actually have So now we're going to get involved in the three stages. 
That case number one of the Mishnah was what? He took off the shoe. She took off the shoe, excuse me. She spat in front of him, but she did not read the parasha. And the Mishnah said it's kosher. Oh my Rava, we're on Kuftal and Rebbe. He's beginning the Gemara. Oh my Rava, Hasha da Amr Kriyolo Makva. We see clearly that the recital, the reading of the parasha is not Ma'akiv. Lefikach, Ileim V'ilemes. If we have a mute, what is the halacha? Shachalta chalitza sing shira. If an ilim does chalitza, man or woman, it's going to be a good chalitza. Why? Because the reading is not essential, it's not ma'akif. But I asked the Gemara, we learned in the next part of the Mishnah. My time, a wise chayrish chayrish is kitana, not a good chalitza. La misham, the love in a Korean. And no, is the reason not because they can't read, but you're telling me the reading is not ma'akif. Says Gemara Allah, Misham Zalav, Mene Dea Ninu. You know what the reason is? Because they don't have any das. Ask Gemara, one second. Yach Ilam Vilam is Nami. And Ilam Amut also does not have halachic das. Oh, my Rava. Ilam Vilam is Bene Das Ninu. Upumayu de Kayevlo. Says Rava, no, they have das. They just can't talk. But it doesn't mean they do not have das. Ask the Gemara of Amir Dvir, Raviyane, the Vishayna, Iba Omar, Iba Omra. But Raviyane taught us that the reason why a Chirish Amut. Deaf mute cannot read the parsha because they're not included in the parsha that says he shall say or she shall say Omar and Omra. So seemingly the Elam should be the same way. Ella explains the Gemara, you're right. Kitmar the Rava, Seifa, Itmar. When did Rava say his din? Rava said his din on the Seifa. That what? On the end of the Mishnah that said, cannot do On that says Rava, my Rava. We see that the reading is yes, Ma'akev. And who does this fit? Like Masizik or Avzira, Dumber Avzira, Kolaroyu Labile and Abiel Makavis by a very classical concept in Halacha. If you could potentially do something, the doing it is not Makav. Choshen Ru Labila Bila Makavis. So in the first half of the Mishnah, because you're able to read, even if you don't read, it's going to be a Kosha Chalitza. The second half of the Mishnah, because you're not able to read the Chirish Chareshes, is Elim and Elemes, then it's going to be Pasol. And we conclude today's year with exactly what is the spitting process. We're about 15 lines to the bottom. The first word line is Labila. They sent Abu the Shmuel. Yevama Sherakika, the Yevama that spat. Tachaloitz, she must do chalitza. Once she spits, she has to do chalitza. Ask the Gemara. Mechlal de ifsala me'achin. It sounds like she becomes puzzled from the brothers once she spits. Mani, who holds this? Ilim Ravi Kivashta, Umav Makam Mitzadikal Meimar Midi Davi Amurim, the Chiles Nahu Loi Mahakva, says the Gemara. According to Rav Kiva, if the case where the spinning is a mitzvah, that the Avama could do the mitzvah of Yibam, Dikal Meimar Midi Davi Amurim, where you could say that the Avama is here. It's part of the mitzvah, just like what we find by the carbonais. Vchiles na yu loy me'akva. Vchiles na yu me'akva. Amar Rav Kiva loy me'akva. Yet Rav Kiva says it's not me'akva. Me'achin ifsala. Can Rav Kiva really hold that spitting makes her apostle, makes her not allowed to marry the brothers, even if she's not doing chalitza? Can't be. Says Yimar, you're right. Ve'elo Rav Elazar. Ah, yes, the Gemara of Ashnei Dvarim Hamatir Ninu. But says Gemara, I don't understand. There are two things that permit in the case of Chalitza, removing the shoe and the spinning. Ushnei Dvarim Hamatirim. And two things, anytime we have two different items that make its own mutter, ain't mal and zebulizeh, you can't do one without the other. So why is spitting on its own enough to do anything? You have to do spinning and the removal of the shoe. Says Gemara, you're right. Elikir Rabbi, the third opinion, who's the opinion of the Mishnah? It's Rabbi that says the spitting itself is integral. The Tanya gives the Atzeres, the lambs, the carbon of Shavu is ain mekad shein malachem. Says Rabbi, do not make the bread the lechem upon him, Kadosh. Ela bishchita, only once you shecht 
the carbon of the kids say lechem. Ketzat shalt on the shman bezarka dam and lishman kadash alechem. If you shech the carbon into the zrika, then the bread is kadash. Shocha shaloy lishman zark shaloy lishman loy kadash alechem. But now what happens if shocht on the shman bezarka dam and shloy lishman? You only did one. Kadash ve'enai kadash divrei rabbi says rabbi you're stuck in limbo. It's <coughs> the bread is partially kadush. Rav Lazar Rav Shimon Aimer la'ilu mein kadash ajich to lishman. This you dam and lishman. So says the Gemara, just like Rebbe over there by the Kifsei Aseres says one process is enough to affect the change, so to by us, Rebbe's of the opinion that spitting on its own is going to be enough to affect the change in the process. Even though the shoe was not removed, it's still going to be enough to make her usher to the brothers. And we're going to pick it up from Rebbe Kiva Mirtashem in the next year.